former England and Surrey batter Graham Thorpe has died at the age of 55. Thorpe played 100 tests for England between 1993 and 2005, as well as 82 one-day internationals. The ECB described him as a beloved member of the cricket family and said there were no words to describe their deep shock. Joe Wilson reports. Imagine an England cricketer playing against Australia in his very first test match and making a hundred. Graham Thorpe to a century in his debut test. That was 1993. For over a decade, Graham Thorpe, at his best, was one of the world's best. He could adapt his batting to conditions, circumstances, countries, winning a series against Pakistan in the Karachi darkness, blazing a double century against New Zealand in Christchurch. Very satisfying to, you know, to be able to score 200. Uh, 100 each for, for both my children, I think. You know, it's, uh, it's been a tough time um, from that point of view. Um, but it was also you know, very much towards the team as well. Thorpe's brave, skillful batting was a beacon for England supporters during some lean years for the team. He played 100 test matches. Touring life took its toll. His career was punctuated by personal challenges. Graham Thorpe, 17 years with Surrey, received an MBE in 2006. He'd been replaced in the England team the year before. Career in cricket coaching followed, notably with England. Graham Thorpe's outstanding innings remain vivid in England's memory. He played them. That's well placed. All too recently. Looking at some of the footage, actually, that's been shown today already, um, it's a great reminder of the talent. Um, I think the outstanding thing about Graham was he was good against everything. So if you look at the pacemen that were playing still for the West Indies, Ambrose and Walsh in the early 90s, mid 90s, you've got the great spinners of the world. So Warren and Murley, uh, both of whom he got runs against. Um, I think that just gives you the range of his talents. Uh, I remember having a chat with him once uh, in the West Indies about playing fast bowling. And whatever I said, I think he probably ignored and played it better. Um, because we each have our own little methods, our own little triggers, our ways of being in the right place at the right time. And as you say, the figures are very, very good indeed. So that tells a lot of the story. 16 centuries in Test cricket, a century on his debut in the Ashes. You know, during his time, would you describe him as one of England's best batsmen? Very much so. But he was a very consistent force. Uh, there was the odd glitch. Everyone has the odd glitch for certain. Um, and I think the only country he failed to really make a mark in was possibly India. Uh, and in fact, he came back from one tour of India after the first test match, I think about 2001, somewhere around there. But in Australia, he was good. In West Indies, he was good. At home, he was good. In Sri Lanka, he was good. Um, so I think he's got, you know, he covered, covered the bases. I mean, that's the thing. And also, of course, he was a very good fielder, a popular man, um, because let's face it, anyone who's that good becomes popular almost automatically. But he fitted into the team ethic. Latterly, um, he became a batting coach with England and he was credited with spotting some pretty big names that we, we now are very familiar with. The key to coaching is empathy. Um, and of course, when you've got the experience that Graham had, um, it's the ability to get into someone's mind. Everyone, let's face it, is different. That's the really tough thing about coaching. How do you feel that he will be remembered, though? Not, not just uh, you know, as a fantastic cricketer, of course, but as a person. Little cheeky sense of humour. Um, that always helps, a little bit of self-deprecation. That kind of helps. It helps with your own nerves. It helps actually with the dynamic in the dressing room because you want people who can contribute to the overall confidence of that dressing room. So people who can be upbeat, people who can be bubbly, people who can take the heat out of pressure situations, people, let's face it, who can get runs in the pressure situations. And someone like Graham would have done that.